All right, so what's interesting here, wow, and there we go, the, the bread and butter. You know, it's unfortunate that he chose the wrong uppy there, but I'm not sure if choosing the other uppy was going to make a huge difference. Um, but as of right now, wow, he's just completely outboxing Peach in every way. And, you know, a, a fellow Peach main who, like, you're going to know what's up. You got to understand that there's two, wow, but never mind, a potential turnip train coming in from Cody. That was almost fantastic. Well, actually, for what it's worth, both players still at an amazing percent. And Blank now choosing to go Pyra. To try to finish out this stock. Will he actually pull it off? He pulled it off, but, you know, questionable DI on Cody's part. But otherwise, fantastic. Cody just kind of, oh, wait, we, we have a potential interference. I wonder how Blank's going to want this one to play out. It's just a matter of time at this point until we figure out what actually happened. The setup here is, you know, one to be questioned upon because I have no idea what's going on right now. But what's interesting to me is anything could still happen. You know, like we could still, we, we could see that next game start with Cody taking a stock, you know, from himself. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, they gave the game to Blank. I I think that's a mistake. That, yeah, that, that's almost like certainly a mistake. Nothing to worry about there. And I think it's actually back down 2-0. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Now it's one for Cody. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, things being worked out, though. Or for what it's worth, like, who knows? Maybe I'll see people fist bumping a little sooner than I expect. But right now, wow, a really fierce start to the game for both players, as well as the fact that Cody did not take a stock or any percent or anything like that. They just both went at it. So it has to make you really wonder what Cody was going through at the start there. Especially because, for what it's worth, the game kind of looked a little even. Um, all right, wow, okay. Okay, a very quick recovery from Blank. You know, out of all the recoveries in this game, you see, you know, Mithra use her side B, and you're like, I can punish that, and then you don't, and it just feels terrible every time. But other than that, it looks like Cody actually felt that a little bit himself as he was not able to punish the recovery, going in for a forward air, but instead landing the back air. A great job, to Cody, closing out that stock. A nice quick jab from Mithra. Following up here on Cody. Again, the boxing from Blank right now, just outspacing, you know, Peach's everything. But what's crazy is, you know, Peach has some crazy disjoints of her own. It's, you know, there, there's the forward air as I was speaking of it. Oh no, that move is so unfun to DI. And by the way, a quick update on the score. We are once again looking at 0-0. And there is the side B, again, Holding on to that turnip and then realizing, oh, you know, I could have saved it. I could have thrown it a little lower. It's just a very infuriating move to get hit by. But other than that, fantastic job right now from Blank for actually being able to control the stage. But now Cody just on a mad dash, chasing him down. And what does it come down to? Um, it comes down to a missed down smash from Blank, that's for sure. And then actually that was really smart from Cody trying to go for the... Uh, you know, because you go for down uh, down throw as Peach, you can land a lot of different things. I haven't seen the forward air yet, but I imagine he wouldn't have gone for it if it wasn't going to work. We have great coverage right there from Blank, but then we have the Nair again firing on all cylinders for Cody. Doing fantastic as always. And now we have Cody just swinging. You know, you're fighting against Mithra at that point. You're fighting up against one of the biggest disjoint characters in the game. Oh, and that turnip barely misses. And what do you know? Oh, but there we go. Peach's classic problem of not being able to kill is definitely coming into play right now. The quick recovery again from Mithra, but a back air is going to close it out. If Cody plays immaculately, again, this is not out of the question, but that quick dash attack just looking so threatening. Oh, man, just digging for everything he's got. Oh, and there it is. You know, there's so much coverage on all of those moves and for what it's worth this is another one of those cases of blank being that other peach player he knows peach's roll distance he knows it's far but he's ready to cover it with that up tilt all 
All right, Cody turning on Fire Emblem music. Actually, this is like the default theme too. There are so many better like Fire Emblem songs to choose from. I would I would not go with this one personally. I think they missed out with some of the soundtrack though, uh, especially from Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's more or less what I was referring to. Um, no, and then they also missed out on some great things from Awakening, but I digress. Um, we are once again here. Cody taking this one a little slower. Um, and, you know, still unfortunately just getting hit by this onslaught of Mithra's moves being outboxed. What can Peach do? It's just not one of those fun situations. <gasps> oh, yup. And when, as soon as you, like, go above Mithra at all, you are putting yourself in the danger zone. You don't want to be in front of her. You don't want to be above her. I'm not even sure if you want to be behind her because she might be able to turn it around. Please don't quote me on that. Oh, what a... That was the, one of the best turnip trains I've seen on the stream so far. Which is crazy because there's only been one other one from Cody. But, oh, again, Lank knowing that timing. He's like, if I'm going to get hit by some of my own RNG, I'm going down fighting. And he definitely did. So a good tech and a good pull from Cody. Oh, fighting on that shield right now. Oh, wow, barely living. You know, it's one of those situations where I can't believe that the air dodge actually saved. There we go, Cody, finally getting that punish on that side B. Amazing job, and he's choosing to also keep the winky face turn up, throwing him off stage, and he's going to get... Oh, it was a he held that a little too long. In fact, I'm not sure. He looked really far from it overall. <gasps> Landing another down air, unable to follow up on it. Oh, and now blank in his habitat, getting that turn up and doing nothing with it. Oh, but here we go. Oh, no turn up train that time. You know, could be percent dependent. I'm not going to. Wow. Again, that move will just kill. The, the crazy thing is, you could you could ask me what move that was. I wouldn't be able to tell you. It was definitely back air or nair, but wow. Like, they both just send straight up. Like, they're, they might as well all be up airs. I think that, that's been said plenty of times, but still. All right, Cody doing a fantastic job at keeping his stance. Again, these forward airs are some of his best chances at fighting off against uh, Mithra's disjoints. The disjoints, by the way, that she definitely does have. You know, this is a character with two different swords, and Mithra's is still fantastic. There we go, the unexpected DI. I'm, I'm pretty sure Blank DI'd that one straight in. I can't say for sure, but wow, that, was, that angle was something else. There we go, that move lasting forever, showing no chance to stand up against Pyra's, never mind. We're actually seeing a lot right now, like a, a big reversal if I'm being honest. That, that up air not killing is really taking a lot of momentum out of blank right now. Cody, oh, if he had a follow up there. You know, we can only dream unfortunately because that didn't happen, but okay, this is it. Cody has made this game even. He is working with everything he's got and he is not ready to let it go yet. He is not ready to get out of loser's semis, potentially loser's finals. And it's now 1-1 in a very unexpected turn of events. Cody turns this one around. It was, I'm not going to lie, it was looking hopeless at one point. But wow, again, the definition of a reversal. Fantastic job to Cody. All right. At this point, it comes down to Blank going where he wants to go. Um... I'm not sure if picking Peach's castle was foreshadowing that he's going to pick Peach, but uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. I, uh, also, for what it's worth, he's not going to pick Peach. We've been over this. He's going to pick Daisy. But regardless, we now have Peach versus Mithra for the final match of this loser semis, which I have to believe is loser semis at this point because it hasn't changed. Cody with an insane 67% start. If I'm being honest, I don't even know where the first few hits of percent came from. All I know is at one point he was down throwing. But there we go. Again, Blank pulling out those fantastic dis disjoints on all of Mithra's moves, including her down air, which is able to fight off even just a little bit against Peach's amazing recovery. There we go. Oh, catching the side B as well. That was honestly Cody's best chance of getting back to the ledge. But Blank knew that. Throw it throughout the side B, and wow, the quick down smash as well. We're just watching some insane coverage right now on all angles. There we go. Cody back on stage. Both players fighting for control of center stage. Blank throwing out a very random up B. Is he going to die for it? No. At least not yet. Nope, he is in the center stage now. Cody's got to get back there. 
but he lands a forward air and it doesn't kill. I, it gets close, but it, it does not kill, no. There we go. Catching him with a side B out of midair too. That was that was a leap of faith because you know if he if he missed, Peach could have come right down there and started boxing him out with her little peach aerials. But that didn't end up happening as Blank is now once again taking center stage. Cody's definitely getting hit by the aerials a little much, but now we're back at a at, at a place where Cody is able to have his turn up in his hand. Is he going to do anything with it? Is the next question. A lot of boxing from both players, but what it ultimately comes down to is Peach being able to, well, it was going to be a combo, that's for sure. Oh, both players flubbing in different ways. Flubbing's a really fun word. All right, Cody is now actually landing that turn up, doesn't get the full follow up on the forward air, or not the, yeah, not the forward air, the down air. Oh, and Blank doesn't get his follow up either. He is smacking him around with Pyra's sword though. It's, it's, it, it was definitely rough for Peach right there. That was just a, a lot to handle. But now Cody once again holding on to the turn up this time. Can he get his bearing? Can he get back? Oh, yes, he can. And he hit Pyra, or he hit Mithra with the turn up as well. That's big. Mithra is now dead. Cody's got his turn up in hand, but Pyra's back to juggling him. Well, that's Mithra, but they're, they're kind of the same character. I don't know. I haven't played that game very much or at all. But now again, Mithra with the follow ups. Cody chooses to let go of the turn up, smack him around a bit, get some quick percent. But now Pyra with the grab, getting him off stage. It's time for a ledge trap, but he misses because of Cody's amazing pl amazingly placed side B. We're going for a forward air. We're going for an up tilt. And we're going for a couple more missed aerials, but wow, all of them so safe on shield, but not that one as Cody's able to get a back air. Cody's shield running low. Is he going to continue to challenge? Pyra, yes, and he gets the forward air, and that is going to be it. Cody takes it 2-1. I still don't know if this is loser semis or losers finals. I'm going to have to take blank home. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my uh, little learning session that we all had here together. Um, and I hope that it was, wait, oh, it must actually be losers finals. This is the world we're living in. We are living in a loser's finals world. It wasn't loser's semis. Unless they do best of five for loser's semis, but I swear, I don't think this is loser's semis. Please, I'm like I'm about to like load up the stream chat on my phone. Or like, no, I'm gonna go to bracket. That's what I'm gonna do. I, I'm finding out right here, right now, if we are in semis or finals. I wanna believe in myself though. Here we go, we're, we're going to view bracket. But first, the match. Also, a very interesting choice. I wouldn't think either of these players would want to go to Battlefield, but if I had to take it, oh, obviously, yeah, it's it's Blank that went there. Um, but yeah, no, I can I can definitely see it happening, but wow. Also, yes, I was right all along. I feel fantastic right now. This is Losers Finals with Cody once again, smacking Blank around with the forward air, remaining entirely safe. But this game, unlike the others, is looking very safe. Well, actually, I meant both players are looking very safe. I guess you could say the game is looking a lot closer because of that. Ooh, a nice little slide there from Cody, but getting another forward air. Oh, this is, this is just actually fantastic ledge trapping. But actually, Blank is able to recover once and for all, but only at a deficit of 147%. But is he going to pull it off? No, unfortunately not. So now we're back in a situation where Cody's on the ledge. And again, Blank being the other Peach name, Peach main, knowing that roll distance, but Cody coming right back down saying, I know you're not safe just yet. Let me give you a quick back air, which of course killed. Blank, even though being a Peach main himself, getting rid of that turn up. Oh, Blank using the cheater move and going ahead and, oh, wow. all right, he is, uh, that, was, uh, that was quite the juggle. He's actually already switched back to Pyra, which, is looking to not benefit him very much right now, but I know, like, he's going for the kill, obviously. That's, wow. So I'm not sure if Cody tried to jump out of that. I'm not sure if he thought that Blank, like, wasn't going to let go yet. But Blank, wow. That was either a fantastic read. That was either a fantastic reaction. A little bit of a delay on that turn up, Paul. Either that or Cody really did mean to, you know, just crouch there for a little bit. 
a great parry from Cody, landing two forward airs in a row. And honestly, that's all it takes to put Mithra in a bad situation. Oh, and when I, and when I say every aerial of Pyra's is safe, I mean every aerial. I've never seen a landing up air with Pyra until now, but another beautiful turn up train from Cody actually just completely nailing it and making the game almost even, but he's really got to take that stock before Blank continues to just build up these aerials against him. A little bit of patient play there from both players. A little bit of poking. Paying off for one. Actually, no, paying off for both of them, but wow. Cody's unfortunately falling victim to this fact that Peach just isn't able to kill that well. Oh, but the, the Parasol actually managing to poke there. But it's not going to matter because Blank had the fastest follow-up on that up air. And now, in Losers Finals, I can confidently say we are 2-2. Two, two. This, this, is, this, is, this is close, that's for sure. That, that's one way you could describe this. And it looks like no one's going home just yet in this house. Because we're looking at a Game 5 situation with both players stumped on where to actually go. Uh, never mind, I guess we're just going back to Small Battlefield. It wasn't that exciting. Also, for what it's worth, considering how these games have gone, that was the longest game. Or no, sorry, whoa. That was the shortest game we've seen yet. That was quick from Blank. That, that was a two-stock. Let's see if he continues in that fashion or if he's going to fall victim to yet another turnip train. All right, Cody missing his turn up, but you know, what can you do? Now, and he, although he gets out of the juggle, this this is a situation where a lot, where Blank is being incredibly aggressive. I think Cody just, he, he wants to get his turn up back, but he's just being so rushed down. And Peach certainly can be a rush down character, but you know, she's got to have that advantage first. And right now, all he can really do is poke and hope that he gets that advantage. But instead he's getting hit by a side B. These aerials are coming at him, but he gets his turn up. So what is he going to pull off with that? Nothing yet. He's holding on to it. Okay. The turn up hits. Blank reads, I'm pretty sure, a roll and doesn't end up getting it. Oh, there it is. The quick slide maneuver from uh, Blank actually pulling off another up air kill. We're not seeing too much aggression right now, but we are seeing some cheater moves come out from Blank, also known as um, Foresight. Yep, there it is. It's that one. All right. Wow. And, you know, bo both Peach players, you know, because we we've seen Blank do this uh, against Noku. Both of them love throwing the turn up in the air because that gives them enough time to go ahead and pull another one while also, you know, getting a chance to have the ledge trapped for them. The ledge, ledge trapped. That works as well. Cody doing everything he can to get this kill. But a forward air, uh, a peach forward air across the stage is not going to do it. But close to the ledge it is. Cody, although he's on two stuff. Wow, I am surprised that didn't kill because they were both kind of above the center of the stage. But regardless, Cody holding on to dear life. And he gets above the side B as well, but it's not going to matter because... Even though that was an air dodging into it, he definitely did get hit by that back air. But Cody pulling off all the percent he can right now. These rushdown moves, like I said, Peach has them. She just needs to land something first. This advantage state from Cody is looking promising. It It isn't over until it says game over. That is the one thing I've learned right now. Cody with another big roll on the ledge and being able to punish the getup attack. Never mind, this is actually like looking still very close. Uh-oh, but Pyra is back out to play. And she has no time for Peach's quote-unquote disjoint. She'll show her what that really means. Getting the back air, or the back throw. Missing the turn up though, unfortunately. Although if, you know, if, oh, a Saturn. Oh, and Cody chooses to throw it away. But honestly, with how janky Mr. Saturn can get, I completely get it. Oh, and just barely miss it. Although, I'm not sure if that would have killed. I can confidently say I'm really... Oh, but he was Mithra, so perhaps. Again, the turnip missing, but the back air succeeding. Cody at a lower percent than last time. Still looking incredibly promising. Blank parries the first hit, but it's not going to matter. Oh, Peach just throwing out all these aerials on shield, and they're all working. But now, of course, the, the queen of poking is coming in. Pyra and every single one of her safe aerials are here to play. Oh, wow. Oh, that was really anticlimactic. I, but, but that is it.
That is that is uh, that is a three-two win from Blank. Closing it out with another back air. Again, all those moves are secretly up airs. You just don't know it.